morning everyone. Hope you're all well and welcome to this week. I thought I'd bring down in its very raw state the half panel. I thought I'd actually bring it down and see what it looks like in the room and I like it. I'm showing you I've got the, the stretched canvas. It's pretty weighty. That's the back of the stretcher. Showing, showing here the stretcher laid out on the breakfast table. I'll come in close. This edge with the bevel is the front of the canvas and that's the back. So we've got two supports there and one further down. Make sure that you have enough canvas around all the edges obviously to go over. We'll cut down but there's plenty here because we decided we might be doing more than the one. One small cut. And that is our canvas. Oh, just waiting. We have a stretcher tool and we have a staple gun. This is the corner and I'll turn it over. You have to get this lovely drum sound so it's nice and taut and it's ready now for a primer we're going to sit it in a frame but uh, let's just take that down now it needs to be primed up gessoed up the reason for this color is that in the room the furniture is oak is darkish oak with with the white chairs so that was my thinking and i'm going to run with that I'll keep going but i can now i can now work on half panel and um and the big panel at the same time and that might help that i don't overwork one i can rotate my eye is also looking, you haven't seen this for a little while. I don't know how many videos back, a few. I showed you and I said I was going to take, bring this down into the house. This is a really old canvas that we freed up from a retro gilt frame, gilt finished frame. There's oil paint under here. I wasn't sure if it was oil or acrylic, but it's bled through on my white areas. So this will just be, just remain a painting for me to just keep experimenting and see what I can do with it. So <laughs> all I've got to do now is paint it, get it back up in the cabin. I dare, I would love, I would love to paint it in situ, but I will make a terrible mess. So up to the cabin. Yesterday I came in and brought up the, the long canvas and gave it some love and some time and put a coat of gesso down. But looking at it this morning closely, I don't I really don't think that will pick up on camera, but I'm gonna give it another coat. Morning everyone. A new day, glorious sunshine out there. In the UK, it feels as though we've been waiting long, long, long. It feels it's going to be one of those mornings. 
I've had an idea. Where's my tea? Bear with. These things happen. I've been thinking about cheese plant and I'm desperate. After the holiday, um, I thought right, I must get down and do some drawing of cheese plant. And my Sam Zafran book has now arrived. So I will share that with you. I didn't bring it up this morning. But I'm now wondering if it might be a nice idea to draw on paper areas of cheese plant to then cut it up and position things on this big canvas because I'm wondering if I might like it to be cheese plant canvas instead of instead of florals. And it's like having a terrible itch that you've got to scratch. It's a little thought and it's growing and when a small thought starts growing I know I can't I can't nudge it into the background. I'll have to have a play with that. I will push on and anything that that's gets put down on paper, I will be sure to record it and share with you. dark areas I'll put strong strong strips of white that is the effect that I'm looking for I think lunch <laughs> on the kitchen table this afternoon I'm dying to get back up to the cabin to have another go at that painting I did think Oh, I'm overworking, I've overworked this. And I started to tunnel into that outcome. What's, you know, I want to see my outcome. Far too soon, it's too soon. I am really now just stepping into the middle stage of that painting. So I'm excited to go back in and see where it wants to go next without just feeling Oh, I've overworked it. I don't want to look at it anymore. You must, you have to just keep going. Here we are then with the lovely Swiss cheese plant. I'll re-angle the camera so you can see what I'm doing. I thought I'll just begin with the trusty ink pen and a large sheet of paper.
To finish up this little session then, I've just gone in with some acrylic. I kind of let it semi-dry. Um, th these little spritzers are fantastic. So just the spritz, the ink pen, a couple of brushes and a very old pan of watercolour. Uh, and it's the beginning. Good morning everyone, lovely new day, lovely sunshine out there today. I dashed up to the cabin, I haven't even had my porridge, <laughs> no breakfast. I cannot get this off of my mind, so I thought I'll go up, bring it down, put it on the wall, see what I think. I, I have been working on it that way, but I think today I'm going to approach it this way round. I can see things, I can see areas, I can, it's speaking to me, which is always a big relief. So, breakfast, and then we'll head back up to the cabin and see what fun can be had today. While I'm waiting for the porridge, I just thought I'd have a quick look at this kitchen table work, and I put a little bit more on it last night. More to go. love to just press on. I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to take it back down to the house when it is dry. It's a really nice idea if you have a clean wall to put your painting so you can really um, just see it stand alone. I've brought it down and <laughs> we have a problem. <laughs> I'm sitting having <laughs> breakfast this morning. Oh look it. I've got Rocket because he's barking, there's activity outside and he won't pipe down. So I thought if I pick him up, he might be quiet for five seconds. Do you like the painting, Rocket? No. I sat down and had breakfast this morning looking at the painting and I don't know now about the violet. I'm really unsure if I like it. And because we've been living with that other painting that I showed you, I'm going to put you down. Are you going to be quiet? Will you be quiet? I popped it on the wall like that. And um, I'll just grab the, in the center of the table, it would be far easier just to zoom the camera back. But, they sit in the middle of the table and I'm just looking over thinking well I much prefer even though this is a leak of oil paint through on the white I will mix up this uh, really lovely 
very delicate, pale, almost a sort of a primrosey yellow. And I think, oh, and I think, oh, the violet, suddenly I can't, I can't connect with it at all. Back to the drawing board then, back to the cabin. The decision is made. I'm just going to do it. I'm just doing it this morning. I'm not thinking about it anymore. I'm just going to go for it. I've been shopping. I've been sale shopping. Uh, it should arrive today so I can show you. All change. Oh, wow. Oof. Are you ready for this? I don't know if I am. <laughs> and I think I prefer it. <laughs> <laughs> I know I prefer it. So now I would consider saying that I'm in the final phase. I think I've just about come out of my middle phase and um, it's all changed and I just feel a relief. I want to take that paperwork down now. It's done its job. There are, there are ele obvious elements in it and it's helped me enormously but then it seemed to get to a point where it's tripping me up because I don't want to just copy um, I don't really want to copy for the sake of a copy I want to find every time I pick up that brush and an address paint I want to find something else I want to I want to experience something different. I want to see something different. It's a shift. It's another shift because that's what you're doing all the time. That's that's the only way that I seem to be able to get this connection that I'm looking for, um, to be open to a shift. <laughs> this, I'm blaming everything on yellow light. It's um, the Liquitex <laughs> acrylic. Have you seen? I'm so pleased. I've got some paint down on on the long canvas, and I can't. I can believe I'm saying it. Having thought it might be cheese plant, I have been in the evenings. I've been doing pages in sketchbook of Rockpool, and. A, a lovely subscriber, I hope she won't mind me saying, she really fired my imagination talking about her experience, the things she sees on the shore when she's kayaking. And I couldn't get that comment, her words, out of my mind when we were in Spain. On And I, and I hadn't anticipated seeing all that amazing colour. It was, it's like an undersea garden. I've never seen it quite like that anywhere before. And my obsession with the rock pools and how on earth can I begin to describe what's in the rock pool. And I have found a little way. I think I found a way to describe. It just came out this morning. It, it, it told me what it wanted to be. So I think we're going rock pool, long canvas. So um, <laughs> I'm saying that now, we know it might change. But that's, that's what you, well, that's what I, I have to be open-minded the whole time just to keep myself moving forward and not to feel that I'm sort of stuck in the mud. I don't know if any of that makes any sense to anyone, but that's just how it is. Great excitement. Craig just bangs on the window. I... Did I say, I can't remember if I've even told you, I've been shopping, sale shopping again. Oh look, I must open it properly in case it has to go back. Open here. Over excitement, I normally just tear into things. This is, I'm hoping, ooh, this is um, a new paint shirt. I've stolen two well, I haven't stolen. I borrowed two of Craig's work shirts as over shirts and they're fantastic out here. And I thought the other day, well, I'm in the brown, I'm in my brown phase. I want something in a brown. And um, 
I don't think I've got I don't think I've got one pen anywhere, and I've got high hopes that it's going to be good. I hate I think everyone does hate sending things back. Oh, it's very flopsy. One new paint shirt. I like the men's. This is a man's small. There's enough room. If I buy man's small, man's men's. If I get a men's small or a medium, uh, I can get plenty underneath. Um, and I should. I might. I might have to edit this out completely. But if I can get it over my many layers, my daughter said recently <laughs> I, that I'm all about layers and not just painting because I, I have to have so many things on. I do feel always the cold. Well, I hope it looks as good as it feels. Uh, Cosy. He, Craig said to me, why have you ordered another winter shirt? And we're coming into spring but um spring isn't warm enough to be shirtless not yet i don't think well i hope it looks nice abercrombie and abercrombie and fitch um in the sale 23.99 i'm ending here because it must be um it must be time for a tea break i think It's not tea time, it's lunch time. It's gone one o'clock. That's what happens when you're having fun. Stopping here for some lunch. Morning, everyone. Well, I'm back in the room <laughs> with the painting. I had it, I showed it to you that way round. This morning, I thought I'm gonna approach it this way. I wrote a few notes to myself and I thought I'd share. I wrote to say, I haven't got an end result but more than anything, I'm enjoying the process. I will calm down and let this painting rest. So my message this week would be to simply enjoy the painting process. Don't worry if you haven't got an end result, it will come. Don't worry if you had or have a plan, a loose plan, and you change direction. If you want to change direction, change direction. I still have no idea what my end result will be. Don't forget to keep me up to speed with what you're up to, what you're making, creating, painting. I, I love it. I really enjoy reading the comments and I enjoy replying to the comments. I've got one or two comments again this week where I can't reply. I can see a bit of the comment, but I can't reply. Are you trying to attach a link? That is usually the problem if they're not coming through properly. Um, Have a lovely week, everyone. Thank you as usual, and I will see you next week. Bye for now. <laughs>